Yeah, I'm still wearing the same shirt as yesterday because I'm trying to decide whether or not to have a shower and say screw it or go outside and deal with all the snow we got. Because let me tell you, we got fucking hammered. Son of a bitch. And welcome to my vlog. like the logo on the shirt ha <laughs> but uh, I don't know if this is gonna work but I'm heading outside gonna clear the driveway I decided frig it let's get her done but I have no idea if it's gonna work because what I want to do is I'm gonna record from the garage with the camera record from the snowblower with these guys but you know I know in the past how shady these son of a bitchers can be. So, without further ado, I'm going to kill the cat for going back into the cupboard, son of a bitch. Let's get outside, snow blow the shit out of things. Well, she's a little bit on the deep side if you look right here. She goes out there and had a bitch of a time at the end of the drive trying to get my car out. As you can uh, somewhat tell. Yeah. So we're gonna have to hit it. Hit it hard. Frig yeah. Come on, you fucker. done. I don't know how much footage these son of a bitchers got because they turned themselves off. I noticed they were turned off when I came back in with the blower so I don't know. We'll see what we make of it and go from there. I'm gonna head her inside and have me a shower. I'm a sweaty bitch. Alrighty, I'll shower it up and ready to rock. I'm not wearing a vlogging life shirt today. Wearing that one by uh, wickedcaribou.com. Check out their store. Wickedcaribou.com. Uh, just trying to render up some video footage for, of course, the game channel. I say that a lot. We were up last night playing like four or five hours of freaking Path of Exile. If you haven't checked out that game yet, go on the uh, Skaven Games. I got some footage on there from previous plays. and It's basically Diablo 2 meets... I want to say Diablo 2 meets Guild Wars because when you go into a zone, you don't actually go into the zone. Like, um, how should I say it? You actually, uh, I'm trying to think about how, like, if you, if, like, if we're both playing, we're both in town, we're chatting, if we're not in a party and I walk into an area, you won't follow me into that area unless we're in a party. It's like every zone is its own instance and you got to be in a party with people to be able to go into that zone together and rape face. So... I, I love the game. It's super fun. We were playing it last night. Didn't even realize how late it was. I looked up and went, holy shit, it's 6.30 in the morning. I gotta shut her down and uh, go and render the vlog and stuff and go to bed. And JP's like, oh, I don't, didn't even know what time it was. Like, holy shit. And where he is, he's three hours off from me, right? He's uh, out west. 
So he's got three hours off for me. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just getting some food for my lunch. But uh, yeah, he's three hours off for me, and um, I hope these are oranges and not grapefruits. Come on, you fucker. So yeah, so while it's 6.30 for me, it's 3.30 in the morning for him. So, completely lost track of time, courtesy of uh, kicking ass on that video game. But it's the way it goes, right? You know, you start dominating and stuff and having a good time, hanging out with friends and chatting. Next thing you know, the sun's coming up. So, any hoozle, I got my lunch all packed. I got my shit ready to rock. So, I'm gonna go fire up the car. What the fuck is that guy doing? Got a front end loader over there, just giving her. Just giving her. Could have bored that guy to do the front end of my driveway so I could have pulled my car out easier. But, uh, very good. It's pretty sad, you can hardly tell I did the driveway. We are getting the douse. The freaking douse. Getting the douse hardcore. So. Alrighty, well I'm gonna let this finish rendering, and uh, I myself, I'm gonna bail. So let's get the frig out of here. Also last night when we were going to get Chinese food, I noticed something new on my windshield that I'm kind of pissed off about. Can you see it? Can you see it? Fucking windows crack now. The fuck? Well, I'm gonna ride it out like this for a bit. Gonna have to call Apple Auto Glass or one of the glass companies in town and see how much it costs for a new windshield for this friggin' thing. Cause I'm gonna need one to uh, fix that. Well, I'm not gonna bother filming the drive to work. I'm just gonna friggin' head her in. So I'll time her down. I very quickly decided to change my mind on not filming the drive to work. Reason being, these roads are shit. <laughs> Holy crap. I am like hitting slush puddles that are practically bringing my car to a halt. These guys should have been out a long time ago. There's no traction on the road. Like if I don't start slowing down back there, I'm, my ABS kicks in like right away. What the fuck is this guy doing? Bring him. I need to go. Go low traction control. Yeah, we're turning. Go straight for a snowbank. We're turning. Don't worry about it. Oh, hey. Roads are kaif. Just completely rifle cocked, people. I wonder how many people are going to call in sick. I'm surprised those fucking things are running the buses because usually, uh, you know, we get the slightest friggin' snowstorm. They're like, yeah, we're calling in all sick today. And they don't freaking run the buses. And today the roads are just bullshit. And I might be wrong, but aren't those buses rear wheel drive? Or are they all wheel drive? I don't know. I can't remember. I know Dave had one. And I never thought of asking if it was a rear wheel drive bus or if it's all wheel drive. It'd be smart to make them all wheel drive, to be honest. Especially up here in this bullshit weather. In the summer it'd be a waste, but in the winter when the snow falls, at least they wouldn't have to shut down the schools because kids can't get there. Yeah, there's a reason why I'm taking her to a crawl, people. Because coming around corners, I have zero traction. Which means the highways are probably going to be fucked as well. I'm thinking about sticking to the back roads, but I don't have much time. I kind of wasted a lot. I wasn't anticipating this. I thought they were going to have the snow removal teams out a little earlier today. Get on the throttle too hard. The tires will just spin up from underneath me, then you hear the grinding from the, from the traction. So I'm wondering about that crack, because uh, I didn't notice it yesterday when uh, I went to Future Shop. I noticed it last night when we went to uh, go get the Chinese. That's when I first noticed it. And um, my buddy said that his windshield on his uh, old escape he had, what happened was he warmed up his truck like big times. And when it was minus 30 out, but he didn't have the heater blowing on the windshield, he had it blowing in the cabin. And the truck was like at 95 degrees Celsius, I'm assuming. And he went, oh shit, I want to defrost my window. And he put it on the window, and the window split. And I'm wondering if maybe that's what happened to my glass. I never heard of that happening before he told me. And sure enough, now I got a fucked over window, so now I got to replace that. And I know some of you are going to say, just go through your insurance company. Fuck that noise. I'd never make a window replacement claim on insurance. That's ridiculous. Brand new windshields, only that couple hundred bucks. Where you go through your insurance company and all of a sudden a couple hundred bucks becomes like a couple thousand dollars because they charge you out the ass just so they can make a lot of bank off the insurance company. Their reasoning is, is well, it's not coming out of your pocket, so what's the big deal? But then you lose your, your one claim, right? Because I got a get out of jail free card and I'm not about to use that for a freaking cracked windshield. And it's, the crack's not even in my path of visibility. It's pretty low on the ground. It's not something I'm too worried about. Well, it is getting a little longer. 
but uh, it's not something I'm too worried about yet. When it gets really bad, then I'll uh, contact Apple Auto Glass, and I'm probably gonna call it tomorrow. Who am I kidding? Get a price on it at least, and then uh, put some money aside and bring the car in and get a new windshield. I just don't understand how the friggin' happened. It's got to be the heater. Cold windshield getting blasted with heat and popped it. Like, yeah, I thought glass would be tempered against that, against hot cold, but I don't know. Maybe this window is just shit. It is, a, you know, a seven year old windscreen. It is the original GM windscreen that was put in it, like, from factory, so. Holy fuck, they haven't even done the highways, people. Haven't even done the highways. This is slippier than a wet Oreo shit on the floor. Let's see if we can get over here into this lane and we'll limp to work. I am literally fighting with my steering wheel to keep it to go straight. The car is pulling in every which way direction. Ho ho ho! Keep her out of the bank, bud. I'm doing 40 kilometers an hour, by the way. And this is an 80 zone. I do not dare bring it up to that speed. Hey, Bobby, we got snow. <laughs> We're going to have to come to a stop, so. At least this uh, off ramp is somewhat cleared. Unfucking believable. What the hell was the snow removal team doing this morning? Were they all chatching at the Hortons, freaking gurgling back some taffy? Okay, people. Let's go find it and fucking grind it. We got things. We got to go. I'm going to be late. It's only minus 3 degrees out right now. I think last week this time it was minus 47. That's the problem when it gets warm like this, is then it snows. You know? It smells like a son of a bitch. Probably don't need those going anymore. Yeah, this weather, I'm telling you. I blew my driveway and... Pfft, can't even tell. It needed it though, as you saw, as I was cutting through banks. She was pretty deep, and at the end of the driveway, she was shot. If I wouldn't have done it, that driveway would have been a pain in the cock to deal with tonight when I came home from work. So I guarantee you the snow plow is going by in the next couple hours, and it's going to be just brutal at the end of the driveway again. Oh, I forgot to go to the grocery store and get some K-Cups. I'll have to do that some other day. Okay, car, you, you know. Love when you turn the wheel and it, you know, doesn't want to go. Good luck climbing that hill, bud. Hope you, hopefully you got all-wheel drive. I'm trying to stay off the frickin' snow banks here, and it's not easy. Holy, bud. I would tell you what 40 kilometers is in miles per hour, but my car doesn't have miles per hour on it, just kilometers. Strictly a Canadian build. It's probably something like 15 kilometers an hour, 15 miles an hour, or 20 miles an hour, somewhere around there. All I know is I'm not exactly going fast. <laughs> what the fuck is this guy doing? Well, he picked up a hitchhiker. All right, on. Way to be a good Samaritan. Thanks. All right, Guzzler. Green means go. Yeah, I'm ready for winter to be done. This is ridiculous. Huh. Theoretically, that truck in front of me can get pulled over. Can't see his license plate. That's highly illegal, Corey Trevor. That's a problem I have with this car because the license plate's indented in. So all the snow build like, flies off the tires and like just snow drifts and shit and just packs into the plate. So you basically got to clear that area all the time. It's got a stupid little shelving th thing on the back, eh? Pain in the ass. Well, I highly doubt any out of towners made it in today. I'm gonna try for it, I guess. I'm not gonna fit. Son of a bitch. Because once again, people who work here can't fucking park their cars 
to save us all. Can't see the lines, they decide to make their own. No, it's a reserve, no it isn't. So now it's mine. All right. Well, holy shit, people, we made it in one piece. We made it in one frickin' piece. Let's call her quits and head her in. Peace out. Well, it's 5.30 break time. I've been telling you guys about the bandwidth problem here. Well, this is freaking awesome. Rather than them, you know, diagnosing and fixing this bandwidth problem and stuff, no, their big solution is they locked out our terminals upstairs, so we can't surf anywhere. Hell, even some sites that we use for our troubleshooting, like one's called Chasm, and it's literally an interactive screenshot of like Mac OS and Outlook and all the different mail programs like, you know, Thunderbird and uh, all the different mail programs and shit like Mac mail and all that so that you can basically you know go through the settings on your end and walk a customer through something that site was blocked iptools.org blocked a whole bunch of sites that we need to do our job blocked one of the sites that we use to monitor the wireless towers blocked they locked us out of everything so rather than looking into this bandwidth problem no instead they decided to piss us off even more god I love it bunch of idiots Sons of bitches. Well, you're probably hearing ticking and talking as I'm talking here because uh, it's currently hailing. Frig yeah, it's currently hailing. And there goes the snow plow. That son of a bitch. All right, well, I'm gonna smoke this cigarette and head her back inside, make a coffee, and try and get this night over with because I'm pretty pissed off right now. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Peace well, out. Well, it's still like three degrees out, but holy shit. Yeah, this was all shoveled when I came in. I never showed you guys, but it was all shoveled. Not anymore. Girlfriend said the driveway still looks fine, but uh, I might have to hit it when I get home. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the what kind of damage the plow did. If I do, I'll just strap on some gloves and my helmet and head out there and just knock it over right on. So far, it's been a pretty bullshit night at work. Lots of bullshit problems, all due to the weather, the snow buildup, and all that shit causing problems. They're getting it even worse up north than we are down here. Apparently, they're still getting the snow. And they've gotten a lot today. One guy said, he's like, I, I've been out there three times today to clear my driveway. And he goes, I'm probably going to have to hit it one more time before I go to bed and one more time before I go to work tomorrow. Well, that sucks. Great way for kids to make money, though. They can go around shovels and offer to friggin' scoop out driveways for cash. There's a thought. I used to run that game when I was 11 years old. Going around shoveling driveways for money. Great, yeah. Great way to make some bank when you have no job. Especially when you're a kid and you make like 25 bucks in one day. When you're 11 years old, 25 bucks, that's a lot of money. Well, maybe not now because kids got like iPhones and iPads and shit. But back then it was a lot of money. One thing that sucks about it being warm out though is it's also damp. And that sucks because then it just freezes your bones and stuff. But anyway, I'm going to head her inside, eat my lunch, and uh, carry on with this bullshit night. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace the frig out. Alrighty, people. Last break of the evening. And this doesn't make a lick of sense. So I'm sitting there, you know, at my desk and... Bruce, he's like, hey, did you hear they got a new Apple update for iOS 6.1? I'm like, oh, okay. Check, available for my phone. Hit the update button, phone updates and everything. Now the vibration feature on my phone works again. Figure that out. 6.0.1, didn't work. Updated to 6.1, now it works again. I thought maybe the motor burnt out. Nope, not the case. Something to do with the software. I don't know. Dem dare iPhones are a weird thing. Ah well, what can you do, right? At least it's working now somewhat. Feels a little faster too, which is probably just, you know, probably nothing. But maybe they fixed some bugs in the OS that were complicating the iPhone 4s. Who knows? Any I think I'm going to shut the vlog down for tonight. Nothing else really going on. Just bullshit work politics and all that crap, so frig it. So, on that note, if you like today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know you like the video and I like that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to leave them. Comment section below. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging. Yep. See if we can crank her over for us. Maybe. I'm looking for a primer. Maybe. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> the door's open, people. That's awesome. No, oh, the guys don't have glass, does it? Oh, frig, yeah. I like the paddle tires. Look at those friggin' paddle tires on there. Take this thing across the lake. Yeah, I'll get the gas up it's been sitting, what, a year? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty rotten if there's any in there. Oh, I've got a lot better on the Yeah.
You can have to set that tune in the car every five seconds. No, I guess I probably should. Yeah. Oh, you didn't put new stuff in yet? No. <laughs> Pretty badass, though. 